In this video, we're going to be talking about the catalog visibility settings in Lyft LMS. The primary reason that somebody enables uh, or, or makes a course or membership not visible is that uh, they want it hidden. So an example might be you create a special course that's for a specific group of people, but you don't want everybody who comes to your public site and who's browsing your public course catalog to know about it. You want that course to be hidden. Now you can do that with the Lyft LMS catalog visibility settings. So Thomas, take, us, take it away. Show us around how this works. Sure. So right now we've got three courses. All three of them are displayed in our course catalog, as you can see. Um, and as Chris said, you know, maybe, maybe this business course is a, uh, is a secret course that you're, you're doing a marketing release for or something like that. And you don't want it displayed in your catalog. Um, you can very easily now hide it from your catalog uh, by using our catalog visibility settings. So to do that, we'll go to the admin panel. Uh, and you'll see over here in your, your main public publish actions box, there's a new, uh, new, new setting here called catalog visibility. Uh, right now, this course is set to catalog only. Uh, and I'll, I'll go through the, the options that are available there. So to change this, uh, we can click edit. Um, and for, for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll, we'll hide this course first. So we'll click OK. And we'll save this. Um, and now only this course catalog, we'll see that the business course uh, has been removed from the course catalog. Now, the cool thing about this is that the course is actually still accessible. So if we, if we open this in a new uh, private browsing window and take a look at the course, it's still completely accessible. Uh, so you can, you can give people the link to that course via your landing page, or maybe you have one of those countdowns or a, uh, with a timer or an opt-in or something like that for it to generate interest in your course. You can, still, you can still direct traffic there. Search engines can still find it. Uh, but they won't be able to um, access the course via the catalog. So that's one of the settings. We have a couple more settings too. Um, uh, so you'll see this catalog in search and catalog only. Both of these settings will allow the course to show up in the catalog. Catalog only will mean it shows up in the catalog, but if you go to search for it, um, it won't be found. So let's just demonstrate that one real quick. Um, if we go to courses, uh, since it's catalog only, when we refresh this page, we'll see that the business course still displays. But if we run a search locally uh, via, say, the WordPress search widget um, for business course, that course will not be found. We don't have any results for it. Um, so if we want to make it searchable, we can do catalog and search. And then if we run that same search again, uh, we'll now see that the, the, the course has been found. Uh, and then likewise, we can do search only, and then the course will be locatable via search, uh, but it will not display in the catalog. So again, we can run the same query again for the business course, and we'll, we'll see that that shows up. And if we go back to our course catalog, that business course is not found. Uh, so with those combination of settings, you can really start to do a lot. And hopefully that'll help you market your courses uh, more in line with the way you're hoping or planning to market your course. Uh, and that's all. Awesome. So that's how you hide a course from public view while still having it active on your site. 